Hi everyone, Pastor Joe. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. It's not our normal setting, but it is our normal setting. We're at Beautiful Gate Cafe uh, down on Nova. Corey Herbrook uh, sponsors our program. And uh, we try to give you an update uh, each week just to encourage you. And so the scripture from this week is Psalm 100 verse 4, which says to enter his gates with thanksgiving. Now, obviously, in context, that's talking about entering into the temple gates of Jerusalem and celebrating, uh, but it's really a principle that we should live with. It's how we should enter um, the day. I'm not a very good morning person, but uh, it's still the principles that we should live by, that of, of gratitude. And so what we're going to do today, we encourage you to come down. you got some time. Great sandwiches, great coffee, great teas. Uh, there's actually international coffees and hibiscus tea uh, that's going to be sold today and going to go back to uh, to local um, uh, indigenous farmers and schools and, and missionaries, water supplies, all kinds of things. Uh, so that's all going on. Uh, Pastor Cliff had eye surgery, and that's why he's not with us today, but he's doing well, and uh, you can say a prayer for him. But we're going to just uh, ask people today to share things they're thankful for that will hopefully jumpstart your giving thanks as well. Hi, my name is Umar. I'm thankful for old friends and new friends and family and good health. Hi, my name is Paula, and I'm thankful for friends, family, and my church. I'm thankful for my family. Wow. Yay. The thing I greatly appreciate is my relationship with the Lord. Totally changed my life. Uh, he is just my best friend. I uh, could not imagine life without him. And I'm eternally grateful for how he pursued me and built a relationship with me. I'm uh, just tremendously grateful for the Lord. I'm Susan Humbert. I'm the women's pastor at Tomoka Christian Church, and I'm so thankful for this opportunity that I get to spend with so many women, just one-on-one, -on -one and hear their story and to share their faith journey. I'm so thankful for the staff that I get to serve with at Tomoka Christian Church, and I'm just hugely blessed by it. All right, my name is Caleb Harvard. I'm thankful for God, jiu-jitsu, and coffee. Okay, I'm thankful for my family and moving to Florida. <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kathy, and I want to say that I'm very grateful for Mocha Christian Church. I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving tomorrow with friends and family. You know, a little while ago I heard Pastor George say, uh, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. And having an attitude of gratitude is really really important. Maybe some of you watching this, I don't know what you're going through. Maybe you're, maybe you feel like you don't have a lot to be thankful for. But if you think about all the circumstances, and if you look around you and try to get outside ourselves, which is very important, you'll see that there's always someone else in a more difficult circumstance. So praise begins where you are. Thank the Lord exactly where you are now. And that's going to get you to where you got to go and have that personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you this Thanksgiving season. Hello, I'm Corey, and I'm thankful for the Lord, number one, my family, and also learning new things each day. The coffee shop, new friends from different countries, and yeah, it's all. Well, as you can see, some people are willing to share, but they're a little bit uh, camera shy, but hopefully uh, we have a little fun with you, and what I'd like to encourage you to do is everybody's going to be sitting down uh, to some kind of a meal, whether it's a turkey or uh, an official Thanksgiving meal or just a meal but that you would take a few minutes and ask people seriously. Just uh, go around and talk about things you're thankful for because if you're in a third world country, if, you, if I were to take you to Haiti right now and make you stay for a week, uh, you'd come home and you would be thankful. You would be thankful for American freedom. You would be thankful for the freedom to worship. You would be thankful for hot water, clean water. Uh, you'd be thankful that there's food on the table. Uh, you'd be thankful for $3 gas. Uh, I mean, it's all perspective. Uh, we have so much. Uh, even those of you that I'm talking to that may have less than some of the others, you might say, well, if I had what this guy has or that guy has, I would be thankful. Mm, probably not. In fact, I would say the most ungrateful people I know are typically the people that have the most. And just stereotypically, people who have the most give the least. 
Uh, that's just a straight up fact. Percentage wise, you'll see that the people that have a, a lot give very little. And that's why Jesus challenged the, the man and said, unless you're willing to give up everything and follow me, you can't be my disciple because he was so in love with what he had. And if you could look back today at what he had, you'd be like, you really were willing to give up your soul for that? It's kind of crazy. Uh, just because we have more bricks or faster cars or whatever, uh, the world must think the same of us, or the angels must look down at us and go, are you kidding? You're really going to sacrifice your soul for that stuff? Take time to give God thanks, because James says every good and perfect gift comes down from God the Father above. God bless you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Please take time to give God, the creator of all, give him thanks. Thanks.